Another interesting question I get is, is why do I need an umbrella? Well, I want to give you a real life story of something that happened to one of our insureds and why we need an umbrella today. Uh, the insured uh, was located in the middle of the state outside of Harford and the gentleman had owned several different properties, rental properties, and his wife uh, uh, was driving down to go to CVS and what ended up happening was the light turned from green to yellow to red pretty quickly. They were an elderly couple and she unfortunately went through the red light and hit an, an, an oncoming car who was, uh, had the uh, green light to turn left into a plaza. What ended up happening in that claim was they did not have an umbrella. They did have 250, which is 250,000 per person, 500 per accident, and 250 property, which is called 250, 500, 250. That is good coverage. I'm not gonna say that it wasn't good coverage. Where they fell short was they did not have an umbrella. They owned several properties, including a house and multifamily properties. Why did they need an umbrella? Unfortunately, uh, just the injuries alone uh, were in excess of what their policy would cover. The umbrella would sit over that and would have covered them not only for attorney fees, but also for an additional payout for pain and suffering. That specific client did end up losing and paying out of pocket in excess of $187,000. Why we would need an umbrella? Well, an umbrella would have cost that specific person $250 for $1 million of coverage, and they could have saved in excess of $187,000. Instead, they ended up paying it out of pocket. I hate to tell these stories, but these stories are real, and people are suing, and injuries and claims happen, accidents happen. So why not be properly covered? It is not that much money when you really look at it for a $1 million of coverage usually running $225 to $300 for a standard $1 million umbrella. Think about that. It's worth the coverage. It's basically a cup of coffee a day. Thank you.